Welcome to the deep dive. Today, um, we're going to be taking a deep dive into pre-K learning at home. And uh, we're going to be doing that with this, uh, this workbook you found on Amazon. Pre-K learning at home, traceable letters and numbers. I feel like we've all seen this one, right? Yeah, it's a classic for a reason. Definitely classic for a reason. And you know what I think is so interesting about it is it's not even just about you know, tracing the letters. And I mean, it, it is about that, but it represents a bigger trend that we're seeing right now, which is parents really taking an active role in trying to find ways to enrich their child's early learning, even before they get to a kindergarten classroom. Yeah, it's like they're building these little mini learning empires at home. Exactly. And this workbook is like one of the tools in their toolkit. Totally. But let's break down why this is so important. Because, you know, the listing mentions scientifically proven Methods to boost cognitive development. I mean, those are big claims, right? Right. And I think they're worth exploring. Um, you know, cognitive development can sound like this like academic jargon, but it really just refers to all those like crucial thinking skills that are developing in those early years. Yeah. Things like memory and attention and problem solving and language. So like figuring out that if you stack the blocks higher, it makes a more impressive tower or yeah. or like being able to communicate, even if it's just pointing and babbling, like, I want that thing. Exactly. Those are all examples of cognitive development and talking. The really amazing thing is that research shows that early interventions, even simple activities like the ones that are in this workbook, can actually have a really big impact on those developing cognitive skills. For example, there are studies that show that children who have early exposure to literacy activities like reading or being read to actually tend to have better language development and reading comprehension later on. Yeah, so it's almost like you're giving them a head start. Exactly. By like, you know, building this foundation early. Okay. And speaking of <laughs> your success, the listing actually features a quote from a happy parent. And they're raving about how much their kid loves the activities and how it's like a stepping stone to academic achievement. I'm like, is that, you know, is that parental enthusiasm I sense? Because I think I can relate. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, creating that positive learning environment at home where learning is associated with fun and excitement can be way more impactful than we realize because it's not just about drilling information. It's about nurturing a genuine love for learning. And, you know, speaking of nurturing a love of learning, let's talk about the author of this workbook, Barrington Nixon. He seems pretty passionate about this stuff, about making learning fun, especially since he also writes short stories and puzzle books. I wonder if his background in those areas influences his approach to early childhood education. That's such a great observation, and I think that might be part of the reason why this workbook emphasizes strengthening fundamentals, but through engaging activities. Think about it. Storytelling and solving puzzles. Mm. Those both require critical thinking and creativity and problem solving. And those are really essential skills for any kind of learning, not just, you know, those specific tasks. It's like he's sneaking those fundamental skills in while they're having a blast. Exactly. I love that. And speaking of foundations, the listing really emphasizes how pre-K lays the groundwork for future academic achievements and makes you wonder what are those core fundamentals that are so crucial in those really early years? Because it's easy to get caught up in like the ABCs and the 123s. But it feels like it's got to go beyond that, right? Well, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's more about, like you said, it's about building a framework for lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's about fostering that curiosity and encouraging those like, aha uh -huh, moments mm -hmm. and really nurturing those essential social and emotional skills that will help them kind of navigate the world around them. Yeah, you're so right. It's like, you know, it's one thing to be able to like rec recite the alphabet, but it's another thing to like be able to use those letters to like communicate and express yourself. Right. Or, you know, to solve a problem or something. And I think that's where that whole engaging aspect comes in. Because, you know, the, the listing mentioned those colorful activities. Yeah. And it's like they understand that for a pre-K kid, learning has to be visually appealing. Oh, totally. Think about it. Young children, they're naturally drawn to bright colors and engaging visuals. I mean, that's how they make sense of the world. Mm -hmm. So by incorporating those elements into learning materials... Mm -hmm you're kind of tapping into their natural curiosity and making it easier for them to absorb that new information. Yeah, you're meeting them where they are developmentally. Exactly. And making it feel like less of a chore and more like we're just going to have fun with this. Speaking of having fun with this, you know, we've been talking about this workbook, but yeah. I bet this is just like the tip of the iceberg when it comes to creating these engaging learning experiences at home. Like we don't want to limit ourselves to just worksheets, right? Oh, absolutely not. The real magic happens when you can extend those learning moments beyond the pages of a workbook. Think about all those everyday experiences that you have with your kids, like 
reading a street sign together, or measuring ingredients while you're baking, or identifying shapes and colors in nature. I mean, those are all opportunities for learning. So it's like you're turning the whole world into a classroom. Exactly. And the best part is they don't even realize they're learning half the time. <laughs> exactly. It's like sneaky learning. It's totally sneaky learning. I love that. Sneaky learning. Um, but, you know, it's about, like you said, like integrating those fundamental skills into everyday life. Yeah. And, and here's something else I think is really interesting. We've been talking about, you know, the importance of making learning fun and engaging. But I think it's also crucial to remember that every child learns differently. Oh, that's so true, because what works for one kid might not work for another. Exactly. And some kids might thrive in those really structured environments, while others might learn best through play and exploration. Right. And then you've got, like, visual learners, auditory learners, kinesthetic learners. It's, that. it's almost like we're all these puzzle pieces, you know? Yeah. And some of us just need, like, a different approach to, like, fit in. Exactly. And that's why it's so important for, like, parents and educators to be really adaptable. Yeah. And attuned to those individual needs and learning styles. Because like you were saying, it's not about like forcing a child into a one size fits all mold. It's about creating that supportive environment where they can thrive as learners in their own unique way. It's about giving them the tools and the freedom to explore and discover. And like most importantly, to like love the process of learning. Yeah, exactly. And that's something I think is really important to kind of take with you as you're like embarking on this pre-K adventure. Mm hmm. You know, remembering that the learning, it doesn't just stop when the workbook closes or when the playtime ends. It's about like really weaving those foundational skills, that love of learning into like the fabric of everyday life. So it's almost like, what you know, we talked about like the structured activities and stuff, but are you saying it's more about just like those aha moments that kind of happen organically? Totally. Yeah. You know, like those everyday moments that you have, like baking together or reading a story, or even just like building a fort in the living room. I mean, those can all be such rich learning experiences. Yeah. Because it's all about kind of fostering that sense of curiosity and wonder in the world around them. Like we said earlier, it's about turning the whole world into a classroom. Exactly. And you know what? You never know. Maybe that's where you discover like a lifelong passion for something. Well, this has been amazing. I feel like we've gone from, you know, the simplicity of like tracing letters and numbers to like unraveling the complexities of early childhood development, it's really eye-opening. It is. It's fascinating stuff. It really is. And I think this deep dive has given everyone listening some really valuable insights and inspiration as they kind of go on this pre-K journey with their little ones. Yeah, I hope so. Absolutely. And just remember, you know, it's not just about like prepping them for kindergarten. It's about fostering that lifelong love of learning that will stick with them forever. So until next time, keep those curious minds engaged and keep those learning adventures exciting.